So hepatitis C is an infection. Uh, it's a virus. It specifically attacks the liver, although it can attack some other organs, but typically the liver is the main focus of the attack. So in most people who are exposed to hepatitis C, the immune system fails to eliminate it, and they develop so-called chronic hepatitis. It takes 15, 20, 25 years or so to go from the original infection to the development of complications of the liver disease, such as cirrhosis and possibly even liver cancer. So now we're looking at patients who may have been exposed 20, 25 years ago, so in the 80s, who have developed the complications of their liver disease. And we do know specific risk factors, such as intravenous drug use, blood transfusions before 1992, exposure to a hemodialysis unit, HIV positive, children born to mothers of patients with hepatitis C. If you have those risk factors, you need to be tested with that simple blood test. People have wondered about the role of tattoos. And actually, the tattoo industry has dramatically revised how they use the ink itself, using disposable needles to try to reduce the risk. Folks have wondered about the role of piercings, even the role of manicures and pedicures. Uh, just because hepatitis C is an infection that's transmitted uh, from blood to blood, and it doesn't have to necessarily be visible blood. It can be just a microscopic amount of blood, unfortunately, at the right time in the right place. It's somewhat stunning, but about 75% of people in the United States who have hepatitis C haven't yet been diagnosed. And we've known about this infection for more than 25 years. I think there are many reasons to be hopeful that our treatment of hepatitis C is only going to get better as we go forward. On one hand, we're going to find out many more patients who have hepatitis C who don't currently know it. Another reason to be exceptionally hopeful is the newer medications which will be available by the end of this year, this interferon-free regimen. The cure rates are fantastic, and the patients only have to take it for a short period of time, so it's pretty easy to comply with the regimen. There are very few side effects compared to the prior hepatitis C treatments, so it looks like we're going to be curing a lot more patients with hepatitis C.